Hey, shalom everyone. This is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and welcome to the Daily Drosh. Today's Daily Drosh is taken from Proverbs chapter 25, verse 26, and it reads, and I'm going to be reading from the New Living Translation. If the godly give in to the wicked, it's like polluting a fountain or muddying a spring. You know, like if uh, whatever your favorite beverage is, uh, let's say it's an ice cold Coca-Cola. Or maybe you don't do the whole soda thing, you know, maybe it's something else, whatever you choose, you know, and you have that ice cold whatever beverage in your hand. And I just come up and, you know, pull up my shirt and dig out some belly button lint, put it right in that, maybe, maybe spit in a little bit, maybe, maybe just scoop down on the ground and get some dirt or, or dirt from a plant and sprinkle in it. Would you drink that? No, obviously you wouldn't. But but hey, it's it's just a little bit of lint, or it's just a little bit of of dirt. God made dirt; dirt won't hurt. You still wouldn't drink it, even if I said all those things, right? Yeah, of course not, because your drink has just been polluted. It's just been germified. It's gross. You wouldn't do it. But yet, uh, you wouldn't compromise on on that ice cold beverage, you know. But in life. In, in our society, we seem to compromise on so many things because we've swallowed hook, line, and sinker, um, you know, the, the, the separation of church and state in the fact that uh, believers uh, shouldn't have any say or any right upon uh, influencing the moral uh, fabric or the moral character of the, 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 the neighborhoods and the, and the cities and the country and the nation that we live in. We have every right, if we live in a place, we ought to try, we need to be light and salt. We need to try to transform it uh, by being a good example and, and by, uh, you know, uh, even legislation of what is morally right. Not saying that we're trying to convert everybody to our brand of faith, but there, but the Bible, let's strip all of the, the religious elements from the Bible itself and let's just talk about morals, moral absolutes. God is God. He, he created us. He has the right to tell us what is right and what is wrong. So therefore, he has established moral absolutes for his creation. And let's put all the rituals and all the religion aside. If we just go on the moral absolutes alone, we have a right and we have a duty as believers in, in God and Messiah Yeshua to influence our, our neighborhoods, our homes, our workplaces, our schools, our cities, our, our states, our provinces, our countries. Uh, to to do what is morally right, and if we if we back off and say, oh well, that's not my place, or oh separation of church and state, or oh I don't want to shove stuff down people's throat, then we are the only ones to blame when things start going south, when they start uh, making absurd laws that we can't express our faith, or we can't witness, or you know that that you know uh, saying uh, um, proclaiming that something is a sin uh, that is considered a hate crime, and you can be penalized. Or, or fined or arrested or jailed for something like that. If the godly give in to the wicked, we let them do what they want and, and we let them compromise, uh, allow us, uh, you know, uh, uh, we allow them to uh, do things and we compromise by letting them. It says it's like polluting a fountain or muddying a spring. And uh, so we just can't afford to do that. We need to stand up for what is right, what is morally right regardless if it's popular or not, regardless, it, whatever the consequence, uh, we need to, to, to do what is right and we need to uh, stand up for what is right. Just like we wouldn't take, uh, you know, an ice cold beverage that's got dirt in it, uh, you know, we shouldn't accept that in our life or in our society uh, as well. So anyway, guys, um, go out there and, and be salt and light in the world. Go out there in a loving way and be salt and light. Don't beat people over the head with morality, but love them uh, into to righteousness. Love them into the truth and be salt and light wherever you are, whether it's your workplace or school or your home or what have you. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Shalom, Shavuot Tov. Have a great day. Abrahamsdescendants.com, getting back to the first century in a 21st century way.